<laughs> so in a quick turnaround, the series leading West Indies will be back in action tomorrow morning. And right away, I would make no changes to the 11 from the first test. From all reports, the Old Trafford pitch will be faster than the first test pitch. So we should go with the same four seamers. Although he was wicketless in the first test, Kemar Roach bowled well and is still our most experienced bowler. So he keeps his place along with the part-time spinner, Rust and Chase. As for the batting now, no changes either. Gambling with Shea Hope one more time. <laughs> the biggest thing for the West Indies to realize is that England's best batsman, Joe Root, will return, as will fast bowler Stuart Broad, a man with 480 odd test wickets. And the Windies should expect an England team that was battered, bruised, and embarrassed by that first test defeat to be coming with blood in them eye, hunting for revenge. <laughs> yes, yes. So the West Indies cannot afford to drop their intensity and get complacent. In fact, we have to increase our intensity to counter a stronger, more motivated England team. Our bowlers were good in the first test. They must be bowl even better. Our batsmen held their own, but we'll have to improve. <laughs> yes, yes. And I want to say this directly to skipper Jason Holder. You see how the task tomorrow? Yes, 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 yes. Call Tails. Yes. <laughs> Call Tails. You see, you know, that's the Tails. Yes, yes. I used to want to drop. Just tell you a rule. We're going to have a bowl, mate. Yes. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on.